rock and roll was certainly a contributing factor to ending the Cold War. They know, as we do, that the future belongs to youth. Misled and manipulated into destructive channels, this explosive force can create chaos. We were waiting for the bomb to drop. We were waiting for the mushroom cloud. We didn't know anything about America because Iron Curtain was so seriously made. We had something from music mostly. То что вообще говорят что-то несло с собой новое. That type of innocence meant freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of expression. These were things that uh, a totalitarian regime could not tolerate. You're landing in the country and you're looking out the one side, and oh my God, there are all these tanks. The other side, oh my God, all these Russian fighter jets. Because of my cultural activities, I was interrogated sometimes three times a week. I had a newborn daughter, and they told me that if I don't stop playing rock and roll music, my daughter's health is in deep trouble. Everywhere we went, we heard, God bless America. It was a culture shock. I said, why doesn't the press pick up on this? I wanted to bring our music to, to Russia because I love big things. It was a very artistic time. It reminded me of America in the 60s. It was real Woodstock. Our generation was reaching out to the West through rock and roll music, and in the end was uh, the generation that made changes uh, a reality. The idea that this totally changed the world is monumental. One of the best ways to uh, topple an opposite system is through ideological offensive through cultural offense. Rock and roll is freedom, and uh, every young person wants to be free. Mm -hmm.